Welcome to today's video. Home remedies are inexpensive and effective in treating the early stages of gum disease. In a moment I'm going to show you which home remedies to use and how to use them in treating gum disease and prevent them from progressing any further. So, let's get started. Hi, this is Galit Gofarb. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to treat gum disease naturally. Gum disease, or as, or as it is professionally known, periodontal disease, is an inflammatory condition affecting the tissues surrounding the teeth. The early stages of gum disease are called gingivitis, whereby the gums become red, swollen, and may bleed when they are touched. If this condi condition is allowed to deteriorate, it may become periodontitis, a more serious form of gum disease whereby the gums pull away from the tooth uh, and bone tissue may be lost. In this case, the teeth may loosen or fall out. Gingivitis precedes periodontitis, but not every gingivitis case will prog progress to periodontitis. Bad breath is common in any form of periodontal disease, which is generally due to bacteria in the mouth infecting the tissue around the teeth. Gingivitis affects the gums and periodontitis affects both the gums and the bone that supports the tooth. Although no cure, has been found to treat periodontal disease, some may, some may help decrease plaque buildup that precedes all types of periodontal disease. So here are five natural remedies that help promote healthy gums. The first one is neem. Neem is a plant found to possess antibacterial properties. A small study on neem and gum health published in the Journal of Traditional and Complementary Medicine in 2014 revealed that neem, when used as a mouthwash, was successful in reducing plaque and preventing gingivitis. Tea tree oil, according to a report, from the clinical uh, from uh, clinical microbiology reviews in 2006, found that tea tree oil can help in the treatment of gingivitis. Search for a toothpaste that contains this essential oil as an ingredient is very recommended. However, beware of using essential tea tree oil in its undiluted form as a treatment, since consuming it is toxic. The next food is cranberries. Research shows that cranberries may help prevent gum disease by stopping bacteria from sticking to your teeth. What's more, a preliminary study found in the Journal of Periodontal Research shows that ingredients found in cranberries can help treat periodontitis-related inflammation. You may consume cranberries as a fruit or in the form of a sugar-free cranberry juice to reap the benefits. The next nutrient is vitamin C. Vitamin C, there is evidence that shows vitamin C is important in protecting gum health. In a study from the Journal of Periodontology, researchers found that adults who consumed less vitamin C had a much greater risk of periodontal disease. Vitamin C can be found in foods like oranges, grapefruit, mango, kiwi, strawberries, papayas, red pepper, broccoli, cantaloupe, and Brussels sprouts. And if you are currently suffering from any form of periodontal disease, I recommend taking 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C as a supplement. This is very, very supportive of gum health. The next treatment is called oil pulling, a cure that has been long used in Ayurveda. It's known as oil pulling and includes the swishing of a tea, teaspoon or ta a tablespoon actually of oil such as sesame or coconut oil in your mouth for about 15 minutes. Evidence on oil pulling's positive effects are limited, but a few small studies, including a clinical trial from the Indian Journal of Dental Research, have shown that air, uh, oil pulling can reduce plaque buildup and protect your gums against gingivitis. Now, additional advice besides brushing, flossing, and having your teeth cleaned at your dentist uh, professionally on a regular basis and that can help you maintain oral health is consuming food that is high in calcium and foods that are very rich in fiber that you have to strongly bite them. These are very, very good for keeping your, your gums healthy. 
You also want to avoid beverages and foods that have a high sugar content. Now, some lifestyle practices that can help you also improve your gum health include avoiding smoking, which can greatly risk, increase your risk for developing gum disease. There is evidence that shows that also how you manage your stress levels will help prevent gingivitis because both smoking and stress form free radicals that may cause harm to your gum tissue. Also, the toxins in cigarette smoke are very uh, toxic to gum tissue. However, if you notice symptoms such as pain while eating, bleeding gums, or teeth sensitivity, it is important to consult with your dentist. So I hope you like this short video on gum disease and how you can treat it naturally. If you liked this video, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell below to be notified about our next topic. We have more videos about oral health coming up shortly. We will cover even more topics in greater detail. Also, click on the link below to get our free daily tips. See you in the next video.